Hello everybody, I'm Lynn Law for CNET, and today we're going to check out LG's latest high-end device, the G Flex 2. Just like its predecessor, the handset sports a unique curved design and display that is durable enough to flex straight when you press against it. But this time around, the arc doesn't look as prominent, and the phone is smaller and lighter. This makes for an altogether more comfortable and maneuverable handset than before. In addition to the slightly reworked look, the G Flex 2's 5.5-inch screen has a sharper 1080p resolution. Images, videos, and text are bright and rich in detail, and the curved display is immersive and does well to bring the sides a bit closer together and draw you in more. On the back, LG included a battery door that is scratch-resistant and can quote-unquote heal itself with the special coating. This coating can protect against everyday scratches and scuffs like when it rubs against your keys or whatever, but it doesn't claim to be indestructible. And as you can see here, I've managed to leave a scar when I rubbed a jagged rock against it. Oops. Powering this device is a non-removable 3 ampere hour battery. That's smaller than the first iteration's 3.5 ampere hour battery, but it's still a decent amount of juice. It lasted about 10 hours during our continuous video playback test, and it takes about 45 minutes to get half its battery life back up with its stock charger. Inside, you'll find Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 810 quad-core processor. Other than the Korean variant of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, it's one of the first few smartphones to have this. Its 64-bit octa-core CPU has a clock speed of 2 GHz, and games and graphics look very smooth and fluid with this processor. For your camera needs, the G Flex 2 has a 13-megapixel camera that can shoot 4K video and has a dual flash, optical image stabilization, and a laser-guided focus. On the front, there's a 2.1-megapixel shooter that can sense when it's being lowered from a selfie stick or pulled into your view so it can automatically call up your most recent taken photo or selfie and switch back out again when you pull it away. Lastly, the device runs Google's latest Android Lollipop OS, with LG's user interface overlaid on top. You'll get some of the company's signature software we saw before, like Not Code, as well as the new Glance View gesture that lets you pull down on the lock screen to check the time and any missed notifications. The handset is already available in Korea, and it will launch in other countries as well. In the US, AT&T, Sprint, and US Cellular have already announced that they will carry the phone, and we're expecting it to roll out sometime in the spring. Again, I'm Lynn, and you've been checking out LG's latest G Flex 2.